Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video we're going to see how you can add custom Instagram feed onto your WordPress website easily. So let's say you have a Instagram page and you want to show off all those beautiful uh, images on your feed onto your website or just say you have a WooCommerce website and you are selling products or anything and you have this Instagram page where you show off all the product images, customer images and all those things you want to definitely show it off to your customers when they come to shop on your website. So, in order to do that, you have to display your Instagram feed onto your web website. So, to do that, uh, there are very few simple steps that you have to follow uh, in order to view that, obviously. So, let's see what is the, those steps and how you can add the custom Instagram uh, feed onto your uh, WordPress. So, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we come up with videos every week on WordPress and WooCommerce to help you get your WordPress performance and experiences on top. So, let's get into the video. Uh, as you know, uh, this is uh, this is my post, and I want to embed an image, just image. First of all, we go to uh, how you can add a, a just a single image so if you uh, I'm just going to clear, go, go to my Instagram feed so this is my Instagram feed so I want to add this image or any image and I just want to show it off in on my feed or my post so I'll just click on to the three dots and then there will be options of embed so this option won't be available on your mobile site you you'll just have it on your Instagram web so I'm just going to um, uh, click on embed and then copy this code. So what you have to do is come to the block editor and just click on to the plus and type HTML. So you'll get the custom HTML tag over here and you'll get this uh, right HTML code. So this is basically the HTML code that we have just copied and we are just going to paste it over here. This might look long, but when you click on to the preview, you will be able to see your Instagram image over here and just you have to click on to the update and you will be able to see let's see all right this is my post and you can see this Instagram image is now right here all right so this is the case of just one image right so what if I have to uh, just add a uh, a whole Instagram feed, a whole Instagram feed onto your website. Just, uh, just that I want to uh, make my whole Instagram feed over here. So for that, what you have to do is just go to your website, go to your dashboard, and we're just going to install a plugin. So let's go to the plugin and click on to add new. So the plugin that uh, that we are going to use is social feed. So I'm just going to search it. Yes. So social feed gallery is an amazing plugin that's used to uh, embed the Instagram uh, feed uh, in uh, in your uh, WordPress website. So uh, this has an options. Uh, there are many varieties of option in this. Uh, you can add your custom. Uh, feed in your WordPress website with just few simple steps, just few simple steps, trust me. So we have just installed and activated our plugin. So uh, in the dashboard side, you will be able to see the social feed gallery uh, option. So I'm just going to click it. So you will be taken to a welcome feed. Uh, so this also has a premium version where you can choose many varieties of options. So since we are just using the basic version, which also provide pretty decent things so what you have to do is first you have to link your Instagram account with the uh, plugin so I'm just going to go to the account and add personal account if you have a business account that's also fine like if you have WordPress uh, economic websites and all th those also provide some extra things so I just have a personal account I'm just going to add uh, continue Th there isn't much difference but still uh, you can uh, choose whichever you have so what uh, my Instagram feed is now uh, activated with this or connected with uh, with the social sh uh, social feed gallery plugin so uh, since uh, this is done uh, we next we'll go to feed so in feeds, what happens is uh, you can uh, you will be able to see that uh, plus feed option. 
when you click on to that you will be able to uh, add your feed uh, images onto your uh, post so what i have to do is i have to display my whole feed over here so what i'll do is uh, since uh, now only two options are available in the free uh, but there's also another options like machinery highlights uh, th those are the premium features so I'm just going to go choose the gallery option and you can choose whatever limit you want, how many images you want to display. I'm just going to choose the two and also how many columns or how many rows, all those things you can choose from here. So uh, all, uh, all these other options, uh, most of them uh, comes with a premium bundle where you can add buttons, uh, image mask, image card, uh, image pop up. All those things can be come with, uh, can be added with the uh, premium version. So I'm just going to save it. So once saved, you will be able to see uh, a token feed and this uh, thing is saved. So uh, what I have to do is uh, this thing called shortcode and this shortcode I'm going to copy it and then post into my feed. So this is this step is simple. You just have to click on to the plus or you just you can click uh, the plus over here and go down or search for shortcode. So you'll be able to see the shortcode option. So I'm just going to paste the code that I have uh, already uh, taken down from and I'll just end it with uh, XOXO. That's it. That's a simple thing. And I'm going to update it. So uh, once updated, uh, I'll just view my post. Okay, I'll just uh, refresh. Once refresh, you will be able to see your uh, Instagram feed over uh, in your in your post. So. Uh, since i have chosen only six images uh, when you uh, once you click on to this you will be taken uh, you can be taken into your instagram uh, okay and uh, you can view it on the instagram also that options is also available so that's how you can add uh, your instagram gallery on a post or uh, your feed just you had you just have to paste that shortcode wherever you uh, find it fit so another uh, thing that uh, this uh, like with this plugin comes as you can also uh, display this on your sidebars so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to clear this option and i'll just make it make uh, make the feed only visible on the sidebar so for that um, i'll just uh, clear the shortcode part i'll just remove the block so that you will you'll be able to All right, I've just removed that. Okay. So I'm just going to go to my uh, dashboard and here you will be able to see the uh, appearance, right? So uh, I'm just going to go to the um, uh, appearance and I'm going to click on to widgets. So here you will be able to see uh, most of the widget uh, including sidebar, footer, column, uh, whatever. And you will all, uh, also see the available widgets. So these are some widgets that comes with a WooCommerce or anything, whatever plugin you have already. So down here you will be able to see the social uh, feed gallery plugin. All you have to do is just drag it up and click on the uh, uh, gallery. So I'm just going to name it ig feed okay and click on to uh, so if you want to add a new gallery you can just click uh, add add one more feed and choose whichever image you you seem fit or else uh, the one i have chosen is also also fine uh, i'm going to choose the feed too and i'm going to save it all right and click on to done so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, refresh my page again and you can see that the IG feed is uh, visible over here right now. See, uh, you can see uh, you, the headline is over here and the dashboard is over here, right? So you can uh, also uh, uh, customize it accordingly. As I said, you can add, uh, increase the side and size and whatever from, uh, from here. 
so that's it that's how you can add an instagram gallery over here and then uh, instagram feed in the sidebar also so we have uh, covered three portions which is uh, adding a single image uh, adding your feed on your post and adding the feed on your sidebar so that's it that's all about today we'll see you in another video but don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel educate wp bye